probably the biggest project I've ever done. Um, it's a model train set of the Couch and Valley on Vancouver Island. Michael Suganik builds and paints all sorts of figures and models, from airplanes to military vehicles, but he's a model train nerd at heart. He grew up in Victoria and moved to Vancouver 10 years ago. When he walks on the city streets, he thinks about how he can make the big city pint-sized. This book is basically like uh, all of, I mean, as many Vancouver references as I can fit in one space. So when really nice detailed model uh, model on the Translink website. And I thought, oh man, that is so cool. I need to make like a little street scene for it. So I was gonna make a little tiny street scene and then I added the sidewalk and then I added the buildings and then I added the sky train. So it just started growing and growing and growing and growing. This little block captures a couple of decades on a Vancouver streetscape. It could be Powell Street, it could be part of Main Street. He says it's sort of a living collage inspired in part by pictures taken of the city by Vancouver photographer Fred Herzog in the 60s and 70s. There's the East Van Cross from Clark Drive, the old Silver Grill Cafe that was on Davie Street in the 70s, and Michael's house. I live in a Vancouver special, so of course I had to model a Vancouver special. Um, another sort of self-portrait of me coming out of the Vancouver special there. That's the, the infamous uh, UBC engineering Volkswagen that they used to hang from the Lionsgate Bridge, but they don't anymore. <laughs> Uh, I think they got in a bit of trouble for that. Here's a tiny version of a Falls Creek ferry, which you could take to a tiny sunset beach, where you could find a tiny painted barge, not unlike the one that has been stuck at the real sunset beach since November, which tugboats have failed to get unstuck. Now see, if only the real uh, barge at sunset beach was this small, instead of tugboats, you could just, it would have been that, it would have been that easy. <laughs> Other parts of Michael's collection are reflections of his experimentation and sense of humor, like this sea bus getting attacked by the Kraken. The sea bus model is just straight from the Translink website, and uh, I just cast it, put it in a bunch of resin. Now, yeah, kind of a hilarious, quirky, quirky model there. Michael's Vancouver City block is a constant work in progress. I tried to help him work on it by putting up a tiny poster advertising an old movie. Uh, Harold Lloyd, Grandma's Boy. Uh, okay. This is a very special type of decal paper. It's about $5 a sheet, so. <laughs> that right there. Q-tip. Okay. And just kind of uh, kind dab, of dab it, it a little, yeah. get some of the water out of there. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Done. Michael now works in marketing after leaving a job in healthcare during the pandemic. He's hoping to do some commissioned model work soon, but being creative has already been paying off for his mental health. It's good art therapy. Uh, when you're modeling, you're not thinking about anything else. Um, and I think with the pandemic, like I, a lot of nostalgia is in this as well too. And I think when times are bad, people look for nostalgia. In Vancouver, Kier Juno, City News.